Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video we're going to keep on talking about the physics section and uh, more specifically in this one is going to be the constant force. So um, let's get started. Actually I don't want to add it to the water so I'm going to remove this component. Uh, not that one. Uh, remove this component and uh, remove the rigid body because my water don't need rigid body. We're going to go to the capsule and this is where we're gonna add this constant force. Now constant force, it adds a rigid body for you if you don't have one already. And then uh, it adds these uh, parameters over here and our variables and uh, just if you want it to move in a certain direction. So let's say I want it to move in the Z direction which would be forward in this case. Uh, you would see that it moves as intended. Now it does not move past this point because this is a nav mesh agent and it is uh, just applying force to this um, to this um, capsule but let's say I add 15 to the yeah, 15 to the relative force and as you can see it still doesn't want to do anything so I add 15 to the torque so as you can see it didn't do nothing because it, it, like I was saying it was a nav mesh agent and if we go to our navigation tab to our scene view we could see that that's that's the border it won't go the nav mesh agent just walks within the blue area just for anybody that didn't know so that's why i didn't go past it but that's what this constant force is i could have this at zero and apply relative force so relative force if i am correct is force applied to the local position so to the actual the actual uh, capsule the actual capsules uh, transform and then uh, force is a uh, force applied to the world space or the world yeah the world space and the other one is local space let's go to the documentation just to make sure double check so force is world space relative force is objects local space so then uh, we got torque it says applied in local space the object will begin spinning around this vector as fast as it so it's rotation. So what it's saying, it's it's rotation. So let's try rotating it. It says it's rotation, but that'll rotate around this around that vector. I don't see no rotation. We hit play. Yeah, I don't know what that rotation or what they're talking about. But as you can see, if you guys want to add a constant force to any direction, so if I want to move right, I'll put it in the positive direction, and that's probably going to be too fast. Um, not even too fast. Um, I still got a rigid body. Yeah, I got a rigid body. Okay, let me try like that. So as you can see, it moves. Now, I put it way too high, but as you can see, if you want to go right, you just move it on the positive direction. If you want to go left, you can move it on the negative direction on the x axis. If you go on the y axis, you could, uh, uh, the y axis, so for example, move on the Y and the Y um, just to show you an example of what the Y would do as you guys can see here I guess the only thing that works is on the X and the Z or if you wanted to move a centimeter or two uh, there might be something that I'm doing wrong so if I am leave it in the comments below uh, for constant force 2d it wasn't it was self-explanatory it was simple uh, the documentation it doesn't really give much I mean it just says it adds a constant force to a rigid body it works great for one-shot objects like rockets so if you don't want to start with the large velocity but instead of accelerate so um, so yeah that that's probably what this torque is good for because as you can see it just shot real quick but yeah um, let me talk about now about the physics uh, the fixed joint real quick before I end this video now for the fixed joint I'm just gonna move this like this real quick now I could have an actual so I could uh, remove this and I could add it here this fixed joint and then I could add the rigid body of the capsule and I could connect it I could make it not use gravity because it's just gonna be kind of floating in the air and then now when I hit play so you guys kind of see what's going on so as you can see it is fixed to that position that's why it's you know called the fixed joint so now 
even though it's not parented, as you can see, it still works. Now, for people that don't really know that parent-child relationship, if, for example, this right here, this is parented, so I could actually move everything together, but, so you can see, but let's say I don't have something parented, I'm technically only supposed to move that one thing. So for here, since I have this fixed joint, let's say I didn't have the fixed joint, I remove it and I hit play. Now, as you can see, they're not connected anymore. And that's what that fixed joint does. So you could also have an articulation body instead of the rigid body. And uh, articulation body, I have a video about it, but it's about if you have, let's say a character, they're mainly used for characters. So for, um, you know, human characters, stuff like that. But if you're going to use, let's say, a rocket or a car or something like that, you would use a rigid body. So for anything like humans, animals, anything like that, an articulation body, other stuff, uh, rigid body. Anyways, there's a brake force, there's brake torque, and then you could enable collision. So if you want these two to collide to with each other, if they ever happen to... Or if actually, if you want it to collide at all with anything. And then um, there's enable pre-processing. And so um, this one, it says it disables joints. to help stabilize and possible to fulfill configurations. And then this is just the scale of, so the mass of, so we got it connected to this cube. So this mass is the mass of this cube. The connected mass is the mass of the capsule. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Once again, thank you guys um, for all the subscriptions. Really appreciate it. Uh, really means a lot to me. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed. If you guys learned anything. If you just want to support me, hit that like button. If you guys uh, want to support me as well, hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to learn you know, more about Unity, hit that subscribe button as well. We're going to be making games. It looks like pretty soon because we're almost done talking about all these components. And once we're done talking about all these components, I think that it's pretty much time to start making the game. So we'll have to start thinking about either if we want to do 2D, 3D, uh, action, puzzle. Uh, so if you guys have any ideas, leave it in the comments below so I can start setting everything up. And if not, uh, I'll just think of something. So uh, hit that bell icon as well if you want to get notified as soon as these videos come out so you don't miss a thing. And once again, thank you.